And um, I'm just here to tell a little story and, well, tell you a story about myself. I grew up in a stable home, though I lost my dad when I was six years old. But my mom did everything she could to ensure that we make ends meet. I went to the best of school, so I did well with schooling. I did well with grades. I did well with friends because um, I'm the boisterous type. You kind of see me before you hear me, or you kind of hear me before you see me. So I had friends. But in all of this, I was empty. I, 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 I seemed to be searching for something. I didn't know what it was. But there was something inside of me that I needed more. We started the search. And I went on trying to find what I wanted to do. But in all of this, I did, like I said, I did well in school. I had good grades in both Benson Idahosa University and uh, University of Benin. Even in my secondary school days, I had good grades. I achieved a lot of things. But there was just this something that was missing. And so I decided to do more. Thank God I didn't go to the extreme. But anytime I was sad or anytime I felt empty, I started doing junk. I ate junk food. I sweets, drinks. It kind of made me happy. So it was like an addiction. So like I said, thank God I wasn't addicted to bigger things like drugs or cocaine, but it was still an addiction. So I was addicted to sugar. And then I also loved people telling me good things about myself, which landed me in relationships that were destructive. None of this helped. Every relationship I got into, every junk food I ate, everything I did made me feel more empty. The search was ongoing and I didn't understand it. Now, what I want to say here is there are a lot of people who have achieved a lot, a lot of people who do a lot of things. They strive, they go to school, they read books, they climb the, uh, the highest uh, academic uh, career and all of that. But still, there is that search. There's something that is empty. So what I want to talk about today is the you in the inside. Okay. Now, researchers have told us that Studies have shown us, some psychologists have showed us that who we are today is actually as a result of our experiences of childhood. Every child has basic needs. And if those needs are not met or they are not met as they should, it creates a bent in the inner man of every individual. Now, you can either say the inner man or the soul. It creates a bent. Now, inside the inner man, we have, or the inner man is responsible for our perception, the way we view life, our thought patterns, our worldview, our perspective, our mindset. That's what you find in the inner man. The inner man controls all of this. Now, the truth of it is that if there is a bent in any of this part, if there is something missing, we tend to be smaller on the inside. And no matter what we achieve in life, no matter what we do, at the end of the day, it will shrink to the size of the inner man. Now, why did I say this? Or do I have examples of this? Now, there are a lot of people we know who have attained a high point in life in their spheres of influences. There are things that they have, they have achieved that when we look at, we say, wow. 
in the different spheres of influence, in Nollywood, in Hollywood, in the political sphere, in the technology sphere, and with all that they have achieved, we just notice that one day, it's like something happens. I don't know. Okay, I wrote this here. We can never be bigger than who we are on the inside. No matter the heights we claim to achieve in life, it will eventually shrink to the size of who we are on the inside. Now, I don't know how many of you know this poem, Humpty Dumpty. When we were in school, Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. And all the king's men and all the king's horses could not put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Uh, it's a poem that we all used to know. I don't know if they still sing it now. Okay, but what am I trying to say? We have seen a lot of men and women alike who have risen to high points in their careers or to high points in their spheres of influence and they fall like Humpty Dumpty. Now, I make bold to say that, or I dare say that, the reason why they fall most times is because they did not take care of the issues of the inner man. They didn't take care of the issues of the soul. Now, that bent can create anything. For Like me, I had an issue with addiction. I was addicted to sweets. I was addicted to sugar. Now, a lot of people are addicted to anything because each, they have issues. They can be addicted to drugs, cocaine, anything. Some can have character defects like anger. You know, sometimes we don't see anger like, you know, we're just angry. But then it erupts like a volcano when it catches up with you in a place that it shouldn't be. You know when you are angry inside and then you come out and you smile, nobody really knows the kind of person you are. But when that anger or when that character defect shows up, where it shouldn't. Now, I'm not going to mention names, but because I'm telling a story, I can paint some pictures in your mind and I'm sure that you can count at your fingertips people who have fallen or people who have had issues, issues with weaknesses, weaknesses with infidelity, weaknesses with anger, weaknesses with addictions, and a lot of things. Uh, um, I work with a team, and what we do is to help you find out what you are searching for, help you find out what that issue is, and then go to the root of it. So what I'm talking about today is inner healing, or what we call soul care. If you do not take care of your soul, if you do not take care of the inner man, no matter what you achieve in life, no matter the stories that you want to tell, one day it will come knocking and it, it expects you to give an answer. If the answer you give is an answer that will not deal with that issue that has held up with you for a long time, Everything you have achieved will come crashing down. Whether you are in technology, whether you are in the medical field, whether you are in the sciences, whether you are in the arts, whether you are a big time Nollywood star, whether you are a big time politician. If the inside of you is not the same size with what you are hoping to achieve, like I said before, it will come shrinking down. So, what do we do? We take an axe and we put it to the root. If you do not know the root cause of the issues that you are facing, if you are not aware of the reason why you are searching, of the reason why you are empty, of the, of the reason why that character seems to be bigger than you, you won't be able to do anything about it. Therapy is good. I read counseling. Counseling is beautiful. But sometimes you just need to know 
what happened. Now, like I said before, majority of what happens to us of who we are today, why we are today, is because of what we, of what we have gone through in our childhood. But then there are a lot of things that have happened in our childhood. So you need to know which one. And then sometimes we don't. So what we do is get you to sit down and discover what the root is. Now, if you want to bring down a tree, you must put an ax to the root. Except if you don't do that, the tree keeps growing. You come back in one month, you come back in two months, you discover that what you have cleared up is growing again. So, I'm going to be asking you these questions. And this is the question that I want you to meditate on or to ponder upon as you listen to the other speakers. How big are you on the inside? Whatever sphere you want to, whatever you want to do today, I want to be a, a teacher, I want to be um, an actress, I want to be a psychologist, I want to tell stories to change the narratives of Nigeria, of Africa. The question I'm going to ask you is before you achieve that, how big are you on the inside? The next question I'm going to ask you is how healthy is the you on the inside? I'm sure I'm looking good. I'm sure I'm looking wonderful. I did all that this morning because I was coming to TEDx. But the question that people should ask me, or I should always ask myself, is the inside of me as beautiful as the outside of me? Somebody said, he loves my smile. Is the smile inside of me as captivating as the smile outside of me. Can the size of your inside sustain your achievements? Now, I'm sure that we all want to dream, and I'm sure that our dreams are big. No one wants to remain where they are. Even the people who have achieved a lot in life, they still want to go for more. Nobody wants to stop where they are. We keep dreaming, that's who we are. We keep wanting to achieve. The question that I'm going to also ask is, is the inside of you able to carry the achievements, the successes, the dreams that you are thinking about? And that's the reason I'm telling you today that the entire package is important. You need to deal with it. You need to deal with the issues, you need to deal with the character, you need to deal with the entire package of the inside of you. Thank you very much.